Hey Facebook, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's me, Evangelist Shakira. We are on night 22 of our 30-day social media revival. I'm excited for the woman of God that is getting ready to come on. As you come on, get share and tag somebody. Tag somebody you love. Tag somebody you care about. Tag somebody you want to motivate. I'm going to wait on Facebook to build me a audience. I hope you guys can hear me clearly. For some reason, I'm uh, uh, the hotel I'm in in New York, I'm on the 36th floor and the internet be in and out. So if you can hear me clearly, just comment below. I can hear you clearly. I can hear you clearly. I can hear you clearly. I'm excited. For the woman of God that is coming on on tonight, the prophetess, um, she's been in ministry a while, and I'm excited for what God is doing in our life. Definitely a woman on the battlefield, definitely a woman who have been through the fire and didn't come out smelling like smoke. So people of God, I am honored to have her to come and grace my platform on tonight. Please, please, please act like you already know what to do. Begin to get shared, begin to get tagged. This prophetess that is coming on, don't even come to play with devils. She's been slaying demons since I met her, and I am excited for what she's coming to do. She operates in the prophetic. She operates in the word of God, and she is definitely an army and the soldier of God. So let's not play with it. As you come on, get share and tag somebody. We are on night 22, night 22 of our 30 day social media revival. So I'm looking for some people that's hungry on tonight. I'm looking for some people that is ready to go to war on tonight. I'm looking for some people that don't mind getting dirty in the spiritual realm that say they're sick and tired of being sick and tired, sick and tired of battling the same things over and over, sick and tired of wanting to leave this earth, sick and tired of people talking about them and able to control their joy when they wasn't the one who gave it to them anyways. I truly believe that this woman of God is coming to set the captives free on tonight. Tonight, I truly believe that this woman of God is coming to remind us underdogs, the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Um, woman of God, if you're on here, if you can just comment below your on here to let me know you here. Um, woman of God, as I continue to prepare the audience, people of God, what's up? What's up? What's up? Raven, thank you. The Bible says where two or more are gathered, he's in the midst. Thank you, yummy scrubs. So watch this. The only way we can come in agreement on your behalf is if you go ahead, people of God, and begin to get share and begin to tag. I want you to tag somebody you care about, tag somebody you love, tag somebody you want to motivate. We are on night 22, night 22, night 22 of our social media, our 30 day revival, people of God. And I truly believe like if you have not been revived yet, I can guarantee you by the end of this life, by the end of this life, when this prophet has come forth, you will begin, watch this people of God, to experience a breakthrough like no other. So come on, I need y'all, let me take a minute. Oh, I can see the prophet is on. I need y'all to take a minute to begin to get share, tag and share. Just give me a minute. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm inviting some people of God to the live also. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. We are in a season where the shift is definitely now. We are in a season where our minds and hearts need to be shifted. It's a lot of unforgiveness. It's a lot of hurt. It's a lot of pain going on. And some of us, watch this, need to be shifted even to a new location. Some of us, watch this, we can't afford to go back to the very things that broke us. So we need God to shift us even if it hurts. So I'm going to give you about three more minutes to just go crazy and begin to tag and share. Come on, I need about three more minutes for you to lose your mind and upset the devil. I'm trying to stampede and bombard heaven. I want a tsunami and the spiritual room. Come on, about three more minutes. Just begin to get share and tag. Nina Morehouse, what's up, queen? I knew you was going to come through. I sing Roko Setabashiande. Oh, God, I got a feeling 
that something is about to happen. I got a, I got a feeling that somebody's about to be delivered on tonight. I got a feeling that somebody's fire is about to be ignited again. Sabrina Young, what's up, Queen? I value you. Come on, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. There's a whole lot of come on, somebody deliverance about to take place. I see tears already in the spiritual realm happening. Somebody, watch this, is about to be set free on tonight for about 60 more seconds. I need you to push. I need you to push. I need you to push. Come on, people of God. Tap in. Don't come on here looking at me and my gold teeth. Don't worry about my gray hair and my long eyelashes. I need some people who hungry for the word on tonight to say, I don't got time to play anymore. My children are connected to this social media revival. I don't got time to play um, anymore. I got family members that are incarcerated. Watch this. In the spiritual realm and in the natural realm. Do you know that you can be in a bound in your mind? Oh, uh, let me listen because y'all know I'll go there. Let me get ready to invite the woman of God on. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for what? God is getting ready to do. Woman of God, if you can just comment below, I'm here. Prophetess, if you can just comment below, I'm here. What's up, everybody? What's up? That's what I'm talking about. Come on, baby, with guns blazing. Come on like I wish a devil would. Come on like you battling and you're the only one that can set your family free. Come on like you ready and already stirred up in the spiritual realm. We are on night 22 of our social media 30 day revival and people of God it's, it's, it's weird because I've been supposed to bought the woman of God on but she ended up having mouth surgery and all kind of things so I'm believing she got a word a word like no other woman of God if you can just comment below you are on if you can comment below you are on I know the comments are coming quickly but if you can just comment below you're on I can bring you on hallelujah thank you Jesus hello 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 everyone I love you all I love you all Oh, oh yeah. mm. Thank you, Lord. Hey, how you doing, prophetess? Blessings, blessings. Can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. It's been a long time. I first of yes, all, I want to say uh, thank you. Thank you so much for um, taking the invitation to come on here to be a blessing um, to the people that are on my platform. I honor the God Amen. in you. And I Thank just you. want you to go ahead and have your way because they're hungry. They're hungry. Shanda. Mande be koli aman sun tibi andela man so kota bande rekete be le to tunga makata man sun tibi andela ndunde because she ande rokote be 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 bashaya. Listen mm. tonight, I'm super excited what the Lord is getting ready to say tonight. I'm telling you, as the woman of God began to open up, something in my belly began to rumble. The Bible says that when Mary came in the presence of a Elizabeth, the Bible says there was confirmation because her baby began to leap. And as Ooh. I began to get on tonight, my baby began to leap. And I come Ooh. as a prophet of God tonight to declare, to decree and declare over somebody like tonight that God is getting ready to set you up for yes. the biggest shift of your entire life. I don't care who don't like you. I don't care what they said about you. God says, I'm getting ready to set you up for the biggest shift of your entire life and so oh. i began to ask god i began to go to god i said god what is my assignment tonight and see i'm a different type of revelation of preacher and he took me to a passage woman of god that really didn't make sense tonight but oh. i had to go with god because i don't preach for popularity but i preach for souls to be delivered and set free and so my assignment tonight is to encourage the body of christ because god is getting ready to move on somebody behalf tonight yes. and it's amazing because you kept saying the number 22 and the number 22 and god took me to luke chapter number 22 Mm. He took me to Luke chapter number 22 and it reads like this. He says, Simon, Simon, Satan has desired to sift you as weak. Watch this. But mm. he says, I pray for you, Simon, that your faith will not fail you. Yes. And yes, 
God. And when you turn back, you are to strengthen your brethren. And uh. I come tonight to encourage somebody. And I was to use a topic tonight. My topic tonight is I survived the sifting. Now I qualify for my shifting. Somebody yes. say, I survived the sifting. I survived the shifting. And I began to look up that word because the Bible says that Satan desire, that word desire, it means to be hungry. It means yes. to crave. And so the enemy has desired your purpose. He has desired your life. But I come to tell you tonight that the enemy can't stop you. And you are to tell the devil tonight, you should have killed me when you had a chance. But yes. the fact of the matter that I got away, I'm still here. And so wait a minute. I want to I want to give you a definition of the word sifting. I want to give you a definition. The word sifting means to put a fine loose a pottery substance through a sieve so as to remove lumps or large particles. Wait a minute. I grew up with my grandmother and my grandmother baked cakes. And so what she'll do is she'll put the flour in the sifter. Watch this. And whatever lumps in the sifter before she bakes the cake had to come out. And so you've been saying, woman of God, you've been saying, God, I've been going through some sifting in my life. The yes. enemy been trying to sift my kids. He's yeah. been trying to sift my finances. Mm. He's been trying to sift my ministry. But he don't even know that God says, I'm setting you up, Matt. Because in order for you to qualify for the sifting, you got to survive the sifting. Come it's on. Like, let me pause here and ask you a question tonight. Is there any survivors tonight? Is there mm. anybody that say, it should have killed me, but I got away. I had mm. probable causes to put on a scully and blow some Negroes up. I had probable causes to go back to the crack house. I had probable Come on. causes to go back to the whole house. But because I survived everything that the enemy tried to set me up for, it sets me up. Watch this. The Bible says, watch this. The Bible says, watch this. The Bible says to survive. Watch this. The definition of survive. Watch this. To remain alive or in existence. To carry on despite hardship or trauma. Wait a minute. Nine months ago, I, I, I fornicated. I think nobody, as the preacher, as the prophet, I fornicated on a public platform and I got pregnant, y'all. I had a baby out of wedlock. I can't hear nobody mm. in here. And only to deliver my baby, she was dead. I can't hear nobody. Yeah. I pushed out a dead baby with no sound. But see, the enemy thought because he sifted me in that area that I wasn't getting ready to bounce back. Come but on! I the devil tonight that I bounce back from everything that the enemy tried to set me up for. And who am I talking to tonight? Maybe you said, preacher, I didn't have that pain in my life, but there were some things in my life that the enemy tried to sift me in. But wait a minute. I want you to understand as I began to read the Bible, you must understand that your sifting has been supervised. Mm. Your mm. sifting has been supervised. Not only has it been supervised, but it has been approved by God. Wait a minute. Yes. I met Job. Job texts me uh, uh, as I got ready to preach this tonight. He says, wait a minute. Have you considered my servant Job? Wait a mm. minute. He says, you can, take, you can take everything from him, but you can't take his soul. Wait a minute. Yes. So that lets me know that everything that I go through, that God is being, it's being supervised. And not only is it being supervised, Tiffany, but it's being approved by God. And that's why the enemy thought that sifting was going to kill you when he destroyed your marriage, when your child went to jail, when you relapsed on the truck. But the devil is a liar and the devil be damned tonight. He yes. says, Matt, tell the people of God tonight, because you survived the sifting, now I'm getting ready to ship you in places that, guess what? That Negro said you will never be in. Come he on! Said, they said you'll never amount to anything. They said you'll never be nothing. He said, but because huh. you are a survivor of what the enemy tried to do to you, he says, Matt, I'm setting you up. So wait a minute. You must understand that when we go through the sifting in our life, the sifting is not after you. Watch this. I know you've been told because you got a title. The sifting ain't after your anointing. The sifting ain't after your bank account. He ain't after your children. He ain't after your marriage. The enemy is after your faith, Lord God. Yeah. Lord. Because my Bible lets me know that faith comes by hearing. And here it comes by the word of God. He says, Matt, it is impossible.
people to please God without faith. And so I come to tell you tonight that God says, I'm getting ready to shift you. But guess what? The only way you qualify for the shift, if you survive the shifting, you survive mm. the lies and the rumors, you survive the scandals. I can't hear nobody in here. You survive the very thing that the enemy wanted to take you out of. And see, you must understand your survival will always leave you with a story. Yes. Wait a minute. I remember. I remember. I remember the shooting in Orlando uh, when they began to shoot up the club at the gay club, and mm -hmm. they began to shot up. But do you not know that after they shot up the scene, there were some people on the scene that survived, and they were able to give their story. He says, "Matt, because you survived the shifting, now you got a story to tell." Yes. I'm talking about no Matt story. I ain't talking about no uh, made up story. I'm talking about when he delivered me. From being a hoe, when you deliver me from using crack cocaine, come on. That's the type of people God says, I'm getting ready to shift in this season. I begin to say, I begin to evaluate the last years of my life. And I said, God, wait a minute, what do you mean? As I began to prepare this message, he says, Matt, I'm getting ready to shift you. Listen, you've been waiting to sit at other people's table. God says, This next shift, you go have your own table. I think that's God. In here. He says, You've been waiting for an invite for somebody else to give you a turn. He said, but now I'm getting ready to ship you and put you in a place where you're able. Wait a minute, wait a minute, come here, Job. Job had to survive the shifting that the, he sipped, his, his finances were sipping, his family was sipping. But mm. my Bible tells me that Job began to get a shift and he got double for his trouble. Who yes. am I prophesying to tonight? Because you survived, listen, you survived some things that other people would have blew their brain now. You survived mm. some things that other people would have threw in the towel. But he said, Matt, tonight, he said, because you survived the worst sitting season of your life, he said, now you qualify for the shift. But wait a minute, let me pause here, because guess what? He says, I'm going to shift you, but he wants to know, watch this, he wants to know, Evangelist Shakira, can I trust you with the shift? He said, mm. I need to know if I can trust you with the shift tonight. See, Job had to go through a sifting season in order, watch this, to be qualified for the shift. He says, see, some of y'all ain't going to oh. be blessed. You, you're afraid to sow a $20 seed, so he can't trust you to be a millionaire. Oh. Uh, yeah, nah, nah, you want a 34 oh. and a 32, oh. but you can't put down the fried chicken and the Pepsi sodas. Y'all ain't going to hear me tonight. He says, Matt, tell the people of God that in order for you to have this shipping, you got to learn to be in position. That's why you ought to tell the devil tonight, it made me cry, but it didn't make me quit. And because yes. I survived the shipping, I'm now qualified. Watch this. Mm. I'm qualified for the ship. And he says it like this. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. He says, but the Lord will deliver them out of them. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are you saying, Prophet Ismael? Your affliction has an expiration date. Your shifting has an expiration date. Watch this. And your manifestation, your shifting season has a due date. You know what? Uh, when, when, I, when, I, when I began to uh, find out that I was pregnant and, and when I went to the hospital, uh, um, they calculated the last the last cycle that I experienced and what they did based on the last cycle that I had. They gave me a due date for my baby. What's this? To add injury, insult to injury, I gave birth on, uh, on my birthday to a dead baby. So oh, guess what, my baby? My I pushed out, but that was my, that wasn't even my due date. But what are you saying, God? God says, I've calculated your system. I've calculated your trials. I've Ooh. calculated your tribulations. And he says, now, Matt, I'm getting ready to birth a due date that can't no man in hell stop. Can't yeah, no yeah. voodoo, can't no whip, can't no warlock begin to stop. And so I come to tell you tonight, I come to prophesy Ooh. to somebody tonight that the enemy thought you was going to give up by now. I had Ooh. probable causes, y'all. I had probable causes to go to the liquor store and get me a bottle of Remy. Y'all ain't going to like me tonight. I had probable causes.
calls and don't go get me a pack of new ports and smoke them until I choke. I can't hear nobody. But Ooh. I come to tell the enemy tonight that I survived the very thing that the enemy thought that was going to take me out. Wait a minute. Let me get back to the text and I'm done. He says mm. like this. And when you have turned back, he says, strengthen your brethren. Oh, wait a minute. Well, let me pause and prophesy to him because God says, watch this. Your shipping is about to give you a testimony. Yes. He says, your shipping is about to give you a testimony. He tells Peter, he says, and when you are, when, when you have turned back, go and strengthen your brethren. You know what's wrong with the church? We're afraid to tell the church our real testimony. Yes. We're afraid to tell the yes. mission. Yes. I fornicated from the pulpit. I yes. smoked cocaine from the pulpit. Y'all ain't gonna like me tonight. Come on. I smoked no. marijuana from the pulpit. But it was not until he shifted everything out of me that I qualified for the shift. And so he says, wait a minute, people of God tonight. Everybody ain't getting ready to qualify for the shift. He said, but if you survive the very thing that the enemy thought was getting ready to make you take your mind mm. you was on the verge of throwing in the towel you yes. was on the verge of giving up but he said but he says tonight Mac he says you survived the shifting now you're ready for the shifting yeah I, I, I need about I need about three uh, I need about five uh, uh 50 60 of y'all tonight that says I'm ready for the shifting I survived the I survived the breakup I survived the disappointment I survived the rumors and the lies he says now I'm in position it's about he says the Bible says that after Job had encountered all this shifting the Bible says that Job began to get double for his trouble. Yes. He says tonight, he says, I'm about to tell a little bit Kantaman. He said, Tell a me or Tolly Belly Akata. He said, Tell a belly as soon to be a shire. He says, But Mac, I need to know. Can I trust you? Watch this with the shit. My God. This shifting ain't gonna, gonna have nothing to do with your platform. This yes. shifting ain't got nothing to do with who you connected to. This shifting ain't got nothing to do with how much money you got in the bank. But this shifting is only based on your survival. Huh? Jesus. And I come to prophesy to somebody tonight, Samantha Woo. Williams, I come to prophesy to you tonight that God says, get ready because I'm about to shift you, shift your entire life. Mm. He says, I'm about to shift your entire life. I need to meet, I need some real folks tonight. I love this woman of God because guess what? She ain't take out her goals. She got her lashes in her because guess what? God ain't looking for what we look, what we think he's looking for. Exactly. He He's exactly. looking for some transparent people. He's looking for some people that say, I did it. I never called them shire. Yes, I fornicated. Yes, I smoked cocaine. He says, but I survived it. And now watch this. The Bible says, watch this. The Bible says Mephibosheth was crippled, but yet he was chosen to have a seat at David's table. He uh. says, man, there was a shipping that took place in his atmosphere. And I come to prophesy to somebody tonight. I come to tell you tonight, Lysandra, Ladrika Moss, that God is getting ready to shift your entire life. Ooh, it's getting ready to be a place of divine acceleration. He says, watch this. As I began to I get my car clean today, and I, I went uh, I, I went through the drive through washer, and what I had to do in order for the car to be sit still, I had to shift the gear. They mm. told me to put the gear in neutral. And see, some of you have been stuck in places where you have not made progress. Yeah. You've been stuck in park and god is trying to shift you to drive mm. you've been stuck in your emotions mm. you've been stuck in that addiction Ooh, lord god almighty you've been stuck in that marriage but he says tonight matt he says i'm ready to shift you to drive guess yes. what i don't care how you turn the car on if you don't switch gears guess what you are still in a park season and so yes. you've been in a park season because you are afraid to shift the gear the hell with what them Negroes said you couldn't Come do. On. The hell with they said you'll never amount to anything. He yeah. said, nah, man, I got a season of acceleration for you. He said, but if you continue to sit in part based on what Negroes think about you, based on what they said about you, he says, you'll never get to a place where I can drive you 
to your destiny. Yes, God. Who am I talking to on tonight? Yes, God. Who am I talking to on tonight? Who am I talking to on tonight? Angela Angela Campbell, I speak a shift. I speak the spirit. The Bible says, watch this. The Bible said there was a man that was by the pool for 38 years. Watch this. Let me tell you what a shift would do to your life. The Bible says everybody had to dip in the pool for their miracle. Everybody else dipped in the pool. The Bible said there was a certain season that he touched the water. And the Bible said they were, those that were paralyzed, those that were lame, watch this, had to go dip in the pool. But guess what? When you are, on, watch this, I hear you, Lord. When you are on the agenda for the shifting, for God to move in your life, God says, what you got to do, what they did, you ain't even got to do. The Bible says Jesus went directly to the man and told the man to pick up his bed and walk. And so, see, you've been trying to think, you're going to have to do it like somebody else. Nah, mm -hmm. he says, this next shift, all you got to do is follow the instructions. Yes. He says, all you got to do is obey me. He says, because you show me that because you survived, watch this, because you survived the very season of your life, he says, Matt, he says, tell the people of God tonight that I'm getting ready to shift them into a place. Uh, 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 Katrina Smith, he's getting ready to shift you. Gloria Coleman, he's getting ready. Aleem, he's getting ready to shift you based on your obedience, yes, based God. on your survival. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm, I'm a Bible preacher. The Bible says that the widow woman, the, the prophet told, watch this, and I, I, I feel a shift right here. The Bible says that he told the widow woman to go grab all the empty vessels. Watch this yes. and go get them and bring them back so he can put the oil. The Bible says she went out and she obeyed the instructions of the prophet. Her shift, watch this, took place not when she got out of the house, uh, uh, not when she came back in with the empty vessels. Her shift took place when she obeyed the prophet. My T God, my T God. When she went out and grabbed those empty containers, I believe that the oil was already flowing. Mm. And I come to prophesy to somebody tonight mm. that God says you're going from sifting to shifting. Yes. The enemy tried to sift you in your faith, in your relationship with God. He tried to make you watch this. He wanted to make, listen, he wanted to make a mockery evangelist of who I was. Mm. Oh, she, she a preacher, but she got pregnant out of wedlock. But you mm. know what? I told the people of God, don't judge my options when you ain't seen my choices. Mm. I don't mm. judge my choice when you ain't seen my options. Because some of y'all fornicated too, but you had an abortion. Y'all mm. like mm. I could have married the no good Negro to save my ministry, but I chose to have my baby. Even though he took my baby, guess what? I still was able to make a choice mm. for my future. Yes, and I God. come to prophesy to somebody tonight. I feel the prophetic. I come there to my neighbor, coach. I come to prophesy to somebody tonight that God says, What you survive, the enemy thought you wasn't going to survive. What you what you uh, endured, he says the enemy thought you was gonna give up. And he says, Because you survived, watch this. He mm. says, Because you survived. He says, Because you survived what the enemy thought was getting ready to kill you. Mm. He says, I'm getting ready to take you to a place where your whole life is about to shift. Yeah. Who am I prophesying to on tonight? Who says, prophetess Mac, who says, prophetess Mac, I've been in that place. If the truth be told, can I be transparent to Mika Lewis? Mm. You gotta, you, see, the only way you're able to get delivered and set free, you got to be real with yourself. Yes. Yes. You can't yes. you can't you can't you can't think about what somebody else did. Hmm. But he said Etamando Sabrina Young. I hear the Lord said the enemy wanted to take your mind. Uh, but I hear the Lord uh, Debbie Bolden, the enemy wanted to discourage you based on your fall. The enemy ain't intimidated by your fall. He ain't intimidated because I fornicated. He intimidated because I got up. That's it. That's it. And who am I? 
Who am I talking to, Sabrina? Ooh, Jesus. Who am I talking to, Miss Jenkins? I come to that man, Tanya mm. Neely. Who am I talking to, Wanda Williams? Who am I talking to on tonight? Joanna Lily, who am I talking to on tonight? We ain't got time to sugarcoat the gospel. Mm. That's we, right. We, we, that's why nobody being delivered because yeah. we want everybody to think because we got a title that we don't make a mistake. Huh. But I made more, watch this, y'all ain't gonna like me tonight. I made more mistakes as a preacher than I did a sinner. Keep it real. Because guess what? The enemy is after my shifting. Who she he knows that if I shift in the right place with God, and I come to prophesy to somebody tonight because I hear Ooh, God. Jesus. He says everything about your life is getting ready to shift. Because, and then I hear God say the reason why some of you is getting ready to qualify for this shift. Because people think, watch this, people think you don't deserve it. Yes, God. But guess what? They don't see the private tears. That's right. For the last nine months, I've cried every day. Mm. I still preach. I still prophesy with a broken heart. Huh? But I had to tell the enemy, I survived this. So now I qualify for the shifting. Don't get out of position in your sifting. Mm. Because if you get out of position in your sifting, you will miss the place that God wants to shift you in. Mm. Who am I talking to on tonight that says, wait, I know, I know I got the Mac makeup on tonight. I know I got the lipstick. I know I'm looking like us. I don't, I know I don't look like what I've been through, but the truth of the matter is I'm a survivor. Yes, God. I'm a survivor. That's why you ought to tell the devil tonight. You heard the rumor, but God got the record and the record states I survived mm -hmm. the sifting. Who am I talking to on tonight? Mm. You say, who, who can be real tonight? We, 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 we ain't trying to impress nobody tonight. No. We, 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 we can't fool God anyways. That's right. But he says, Mac, in order for me to shift you, he says, first, I need to know that you're a survivor. Yes. And, and, and can I trust you? With the ship, everybody wants to be a millionaire, but nobody wants to sow. Nobody wants to pay tithes and all. That's the way it works. <laughs> every, every, everybody, everybody wants this lavish life, but nobody's Ooh. willing to seek ye first the kingdom of God. Yes, God. And he says, tonight, I come to prophesy. If you can hear me tonight, I come to prophesy tonight, Miss Brooks, Miss uh, E. Pretty Davis. I come to prophesy destiny. I come to meet Jones. I come to prophesy that this shift is getting ready to take place. Watch yes, this any day now. Somebody yes. say, my shifting is taking place any day now. You can wake up tomorrow and he'll shift you like that. One word from God can shift your entire life. One prophecy from God can shift your entire life. That's why you ought to tell the devil tonight, I'm still standing. Yes, God. I, I, I'm still here. I know I messed up. I know I missed the mark. But Miss Bolden, I'm, I, when you are a survivor, you become a testimony. Yes. You become a testimony of what, of what it looks like to survive some things. And he says, watch this tonight and I prophesy over your life tonight. Every believer, if you can hear me under the sound of my voice tonight. I come to prophesy not from not from the not from a, a, a low place, but I prophesy from the third realm of heaven tonight. That every request mm. you have now, God says heaven is getting ready to approve it. Yes, yes God. God. Do you yes, hear God. me? God is getting ready to approve every request. You ain't got to wait for a confirmation email. You ain't got to wait for a text. But He says because you mm. survived it. He says, I'm getting ready to shift you. The Bible says, watch mm. this. We go from glory to glory. We go from faith to faith. And I come to prophesy to somebody tonight that is on this live tonight that God is shifting you. There's somebody that's watching that you was on the verge of walking away from your marriage. But I hear the Lord say tonight, I'm shifting in your marriage. Yes, God. There's, there's some business owners on here tonight. And you've been asking God, God, when? 
When is my business getting ready to shift? I come to prophesy tonight to entrepreneurs that your business is getting ready to shift. I come to prophesy to those that says, Mag, I, I want to keep it real. I, I, I don't miss the mark, uh. but I'm ready for the shifting. Patricia Anderson, get ready for the shifting. Yeah. Miss Angelina Foster, get ready for the shifting. Priscilla, get ready for the shifting. Trinise, get ready for the shifting. Tan Rob, get ready for the shifting. Miss Mallet, get ready for the shifting. Because God says it's getting ready to happen just like that tonight. Hmm. Sometimes the reason why we missed our shift mm. is because we're not in the right position. Come on. And I hear the Lord saying some of you tonight, the reason why I haven't shifted you is because you're still connected to people that I ain't ready to shift. Mm. And you trying to take people with you that ain't ready to go. That's why you got to be careful of those people that don't clap when you win. Mm -hmm. You be careful of those people that don't clap because of your shifting, that don't celebrate you when God is shifting in your life. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I speak now. There's eviction notices being stopped right now mm. because of the shift. All you need is one word. You just need one prophet to speak one word over your life. Yes, God. And God, listen, out of the hell I've been through in the last nine months of my life, I qualify for the shifting. Come on. Do you know that, 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 there's eventually, that when you fill out certain job applications, they ask you for your qualification. What makes you deserve this position? Mm. And God says, you filled out the application tonight. I don't know what you filled it out for. Maybe you needed more joy. Yes, Maybe God. you filled out the application for peace. Mm. But God says, I want to see your qualifications tonight. Mm. I want to mm -hmm. know. Have you survived some stuff to be on to qualify for where I'm getting ready to take you? Mm. That's why in this season, you got to be careful what you ask for. Yes. Be careful of the yes you give him. Because the yes you may give him. Listen, the hardest thing for me to do as a preacher was to accept the will of God. Yes. <laughs> they told me my baby didn't have a heartbeat. Oh, Jesus. But you're talking about somebody that's been praying and believing God for everybody else. Oh, my, 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 my. my, my you're standing in the gap for everybody else. <laughs> and you feel like he's forgotten your shit. Who am I talking to tonight? You said, God, I've been there. I've been faithful. I pushed everybody. I supported everybody. And it felt like you denied my request. Can you imagine the pain that I felt when they told me my baby didn't have a heartbeat? I went to the hospital with a baby bag, but my baby left in a body bag. Y'all ain't hear me tonight. He said, bad because you proven that you can survive the sickness. And some of you say, God, I've been faithful. I've been there. I'm sold. I'm gay. And it still looks like you didn't give me what I asked for. But he says tonight, he said, he says tonight because you survived the very thing. Listen, I waited evangelist 30, 38 years for this moment. I've never been pregnant in my life. I waited 38 years for a moment. Only to still have to go through labor and delivery and push out a dead baby. God, you ain't promised me a dead baby. You told me you'll give me my desires. Mm -mm. So he says tonight, he says, I know y'all thought I forgot about you. Ooh. I know you thought you've been overlooked in this season because Ooh. the hell that you've been going through. But he says tonight, Ooh. Prophet is Mac encouraged the people of God that because they survived Ooh. the worst season of their life, 
He says, I'm getting ready to qualify you for the biggest shifting of your life. Yes, the warfare has been great. Yes, you had probable causes to throw in the towel. You had probable causes to walk away from God. He says, but because you survived the sifting, you survived the very thing. What, what happens when God breaks your heart? What happens when God gives you a no? Can you handle that? Will you still trust him? Will you still lift your hands and say, God, I'm ready for the shifting? And there are many of you tonight, God says, I'm healing the brokenness in your heart. Yes. Some of you have been through some things behind the scene. You've been through some hurt. You've been through some pain. Come on. That wanted that you wanted to put a 38 to your head. You wanted to overdose on the purpose. But he says tonight, Prophet Smack, he says that He mm. says, Can you handle the sifting of your life? Wow. He says, because you handle it, he says, now I can shift you. What a shifter. When you put the flower in, it takes out large particles. He said, I had to put you in the sifting to take out that hatred. Yeah. To take out that bitterness. To take out that loneliness and that rejection and that hurt. Some of you still carrying hurt from your childhood. Ooh, Jesus. He says, tonight, Mac, I want to heal the hearts of the people tonight. And he says, he says, I come tonight to heal every place in your life that you've been sifted. Some of you have been sifted in your emotions. You've been sifted in your faith. But he says tonight, prophetess Matt, he says, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yes. He says, but the Lord will deliver you out of them all. Mm. Your sifting has an expiration date and your shifting has a due date. I don't know. I don't know your due date tonight, but I hear God saying your due date is any day now. Yes. Some of you still struggling with that unforgiveness in your heart. God says, let it go tonight because I can't shift you when it's still there. Some of you haven't forgive your parents for when you were children. He says, I can't shift you when you still got it there. Mm. And that's the reason why. Watch this. A survivor. The only reason why I'm able to get on this live tonight after the last nine months of my life. The only reason why I'm still in my right mind. Come on. Because I survived what the Thank enemy you. thought was getting ready to Thank take you. me out. Thank you, Jesus. Thank and you. so I come to prophesy, I decree and declare tonight, come on this live tonight, mm. to every believer tonight, mm. to every listener tonight. God is getting ready to shift you, but can he trust you huh. with the shifting? Can he trust you that when he give you certain platforms, Yes. when he give you certain opportunities, can he watch this? I hear you, Lord. He says, are you a good steward over your shifting? Mm. I want to know, can you be a good steward over your shifting tonight? Mm -hmm. He says, because I'm getting ready to shift you, Miss Reed. I'm getting ready to shift you, Jennifer. I'm getting ready to shift you, Graham. I'm getting ready to shift you, Deborah. He says, Mika Jones, I'm getting ready to shift you. Mm. Nikki Nicole, I'm getting ready to shift you. Shakira mm. Williams, he says, I'm getting ready to shift you. Yeah, God. Gina Johnson, I'm getting ready to shift you. Mm. He says, but are you ready for the shifting? I'm praying the prayer tonight. I prophesy over every believer tonight. No, my, 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 Jesus. That this next shift, watch this. The Bible says that when this man that was sitting by the pool for 38 years, Evangelist Shakira, the Bible says this man went in the city, watch this, and they began to ask him, are you the same one that was sitting there for 38 years? Mm -hmm. I hear the Lord saying, people of God, get ready for Q&A. Mm. Because they're going to try to figure out, man, how you survived that. They're going to try to figure out how you didn't give up by now. They wanted to know, was this the same one? They're going to say, is this the same one 
Mm. They got the repo. Was this the same one on. that, that divorced? Was this the same one that was in prison? Was this the same one uh, uh, that did this? He says, get ready for a season of Q&A because guess what? Your shifting is getting ready to shock everybody around you. Mm. Your mm -hmm. shifting is getting ready to be evidence that they 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 had their mouth on your past, but God here was on your future. Yes, sir. This shifting in your life. Is getting ready to take you to new levels. So am I prophesying to tonight? I decree mm. and wow. I declare tonight mm. over your life as this woman of God has set aside 30 days of shifting. Mm. Guess what? If you don't shift, it ain't her fault. I know that's right. If uh. you don't shift, it ain't the prophet's fault. Mm -mm. If you don't shift, because guess what? Some of your minds got to change. That's right. Some of you mm. gotta you gotta see yourself different. Some of you only see yourself on that level. And guess what? That's why you still there. So a man yep. think it, so he is. Mm -hmm. God says, I'm preparing you for the shift tonight. Yes, and I decree and declare tonight that God is shifting you into a mm. divine season of acceleration. I yes, prophesy God. over your life. Many of you tonight, your businesses is getting ready to take off. You're, 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 I see many of you have blueprints of vision. God says, I'm getting ready to shift in those areas of your life. I'm, I'm done. But tonight, before I leave, before I, I go to the next phase, if you don't know Christ tonight, Mm -hmm. If you ain't saved tonight, if you say, preacher, I don't backslide it. I don't care if you fornicated last night. I don't care if you got high last night. That ain't, I can't save you. Mm -hmm. But God says, all you got to do is believe in your heart and confess in your mouth. Yes. That Jesus sent his, his son to die on the cross and that's salvation. You don't have to be at an altar to get saved. That's you can right. get saved on this live tonight. Mm. And you say, God, I need you tonight. I'm a backslider. I, 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 I just want to come back to you. Can I pray for you tonight? Mm. Mm -hmm. I pray, God, for every believer tonight that don't know you tonight. I pray, God, that you will shift them into a relationship with you tonight. Yes, Lord. All you got to do is believe that the same Jesus that died on the cross for you and me, the same Jesus that delivered evangelist Shakira, the same uh, 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 Jesus that took her from prison uh, 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 for, to a platform. I can't hear nobody. Yeah, my my, 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 my the Jesus. same Jesus that can Broke deliver you. And guess what? He ain't looking for you to come. You can wear your lipstick. You can wear your lashes. You can wear your goals. So guess yes. what? The man ain't, God ain't looking at the outer appearance. He's huh. looking at the heart. But I pray for every believer tonight. Those hmm. that don't know you tonight. Those yes. that God has said tonight that they need you and they rededicate their life back to you. I decree and declare over their life salvation. Tanya Williams, we put a protection around your family. I decree and declare that you won't lose your mind after this one. I decree yes. and declare that you, you, you're strengthening the purpose. You're strengthening Daphne. You're strengthening them tonight. In Jesus' mm. name, I decree and declare tonight mm. that strength is your portion. Every backslide. Look at these souls coming back to God tonight. Look at these souls. The revival is to be revived. Mm -hmm. The revival is to bring back life. I speak life to every believer tonight. Yes, you Lord. shall live. Watch this. And you will not die. I decree and declare over your life tonight that God is shifting you from glory to glory. I want everybody tonight to get a shifting seat. I know you say, Prophetess Mac, I've been giving all week. I've been mm. giving the last, guess what? Your shifting is based on your obedience. Yes, God. And, and, and I heard the woman of God kept saying, and, and the Lord told me before I got on here, and I heard the woman of God say, this is the 22nd day. Mm -hmm. And watch this. Watch this. I've learned as a prophet of God, when I challenge those to give, you give on the level of your faith. That's right. Maybe you're not believing God for something big, but I need those that says tonight, I ain't believing God for something big to take place in my life. Yes. I want you tonight. There's many of you that can sow a seed of two, 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 two. I heard it. And when we started evangelists, we kept getting to 222 people. And God mm -hmm. said, that's your confirmation. He took me to Luke chapter 22. This is mm -hmm. the 22nd day of this revival. So there's a set of you that says, Prophet is mad. I need those that says tonight, I'm going to sow a seed. You, maybe your faith ain't on $222. Mm -hmm. But I hear the Lord saying tonight, 
that many of you tonight, he needs you to step out on faith and sow a seed of $222. And then there's a, another set of you that can sow a seed of $22 tonight. Yeah. But I don't want you to look at the $22 when you're, when you're believing God for something big tonight. I know that's right. But he says tonight, based on your faith, mm. and if I not be a prophet of God, I'm nobody without him. Mm. But if I tell you tonight that there's a red couch on your on your porch, and when you get there, it ain't there. Somebody stole your couch. You better call the police. I'm telling you. And I hear the Lord saying tonight, those of you that were so tonight, God says, even watch this. I prophesy that even in the next 22 days, yes, God, that you will have evidence of this seed tonight. Mm. You will have evidence of shifting. The Bible says, whatever a man soweth. That's what he should read. The reason mm. why some of you won't get a harvest because you ain't got no seed in the ground. Exactly. Y'all exactly. come on people's lives. Y'all feed off their prophetic yep. and never give back to them. Yep. But it takes a life of commitment yep. to do this for 30 days straight. That's real. I did, th I did three days straight and I was tired. Mm. Mm. So God says tonight, I want you to step out on faith tonight. Mm. I want to challenge your obedience tonight. This ain't about your money. It's about your obedience tonight. Mm. Your instruct, watch this, your shift is in the instructions of the Lord tonight. Mm. And I prophesy tonight to every giver tonight. I decree and I declare over your life tonight that the seed that leaves your life tonight will not leave your life. And I hear God saying tonight, come on, I want you, when you say, I want you to say, I'm sowing tonight, come on, because I just want to release a prophetic, and we're getting ready to go, I just want to release a prophetic blessing over mm. those that will obey God tonight. I yes. decree and I declare tonight that God is, God, watch this, he's getting ready to shift, I, I'm not even a, 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 a money preacher, but mm -hmm. I hear God saying tonight, I'm shifting the finances of the kingdom. Yes, God. He says, I'm getting ready to produce kingdom millionaires. Yes, God. Whoa. He says, but guess what? I'm only watch this. I told you. I told you tonight. He only watch this. Watch this. Thank you. Blessings to those that are so. I speak blessings upon your life. Blessings upon your life tonight. He says, can I trust you with this shift? Mm. He says, Derry, if I can, I, I, wait a minute, God, listen, I don't spend, you know how much money I used to spend on cocaine? Keep it real. Keep it More real. Than I, one day I spent about six, seven hundred dollars on some coke. Mm. Couldn't even use it all. <laughs> Couldn't even smoke it all. Had it, had it for the next day. And guess what? The next day I still had to get some more. Y'all I'm be telling real. you. Keep it real. Keep and, it real. And guess what? I spend $22 in my sleep sometimes. Mm. But I decree and declare the blessings of the Lord will be upon you tonight. Yes, I decree God. and declare that this seed, I don't care, guess what? I don't care if you got $2 sowing. If you mm. got $2.22 sowing. That's right. Whatever it is, I don't care what it is. If you pay so the 22, you pay so the 222. So into this now, anytime a prophet comes. That's oh, right. You shall always sow. That's biblical. It ain't about your cash app. It's about your obedience tonight. That's and anybody right. that follows my ministry know that it ain't about your seed. It's about your obedience tonight. And I decree for those of you tonight that this seed is getting ready to shift. I decree Sabrina as you release tonight I hear the Lord say as immediately as you release tonight guess what I heard the Lord say just now some of you can wake up tomorrow because there's a shift at your address Come some on. of you can wake up tomorrow and there's a shipping that's coming in your mailbox mm. I hear the Lord say back pay for somebody disability uh, child support is being released tonight mm. I decree and declare tonight that the seed that y'all is sowing tonight is getting ready to shift my your God. entire life. Listen, I, I, I really, I got to say this. My God. Transparent. My God. Listen, if you ain't got nothing to sow, guess what? We ain't talking to you. Exactly. You ain't got to ask nobody to sow for you because God knows your heart. Yes. But if you at least got $22 in your pocket, I don't care if that's your last. He want to know, can I trust you?
Rakos, I, 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 I was homeless. Pastor Tori, we was losing our church. He asked for eighteen, twelve hundred dollars. I was homeless, sleeping on the couch. I mm. sold that twelve hundred. I I saved all my checks, and I I I I sold. And guess what? I will move to Atlanta, and for a whole year, somebody paid my rent. My they God. pay my light bill. They pay my water bill. They pay my cable bill. I didn't Ooh. have no bills because I was obedient with my seat. Mm. And I hear the Lord tonight. There's somebody that was on here said they're homeless. I speak now tonight that God will give you shelter. I speak now that God will open up a door for you tonight. Yes. And it is mm. so. So let it be tonight. I decree mm. and declare the mm. blessings of the Lord will make you rich tonight. And evangelists, I hear the Lord saying, there's a great work, even international, yes, is about God. to take you to. I hear the Lord saying, I, I see you already got passport in the making, or you already got it. I hear the Lord saying, get ready. Because mm. there's even a school that I see the Lord is getting ready to give you. Mm. There's a school for even women that will come out of prison. This will be mm. a transformation house. My God. God said, because I can trust you to be real with them. God yes. said, listen, the people we see on these platforms now, he says, I'm getting ready to raise up the underdogs. Come on, I'm getting man. ready to raise up those oh. that got real story. I ain't yes, talking God. about that made up stuff. I'm talking about, yeah, I was a hoe. Honey, I started at 14. Yeah, I slept with this person. Yeah, I did that. Mm. But listen, I'm a survivor. Yes, God. A very, I, I think, I believe one time you had, I'm an ex somebody. Come on. The come the matter on. Is, we all are ex somebody if y'all want to yes. keep it real tonight. Yes. But God says, I'm getting ready keep to raise real. you up. Keep woman it of real. God. Keep it he real. Says, Guess what? He says, this season of your life, he says, the shifting that's getting ready to take place is getting ready to take place like a rocket. He says, whatever you do, woman of God, remain humble. Yes. It's too many people right now, woman of God, that has false humility mm. because they got a platform mm. and we celebrate them because of their names, but wow. they have no humility, they're mm. arrogant. Mm. They don't tell me they got a made up version of their testimony. Huh. So God said, I'm looking for some real survivors tonight. Ooh, I'm shifting the real, and he gave me a revelation today. If you not notice, there are many generals that are dying. <clears throat> they're dying, but their mantles is still resting. <clears throat> he says, I'm getting ready to raise up the underdogs to yes, take God. the mantles of those believers tonight. Ooh, I prophesy over your life tonight, every believer tonight. I decree and declare. Listen, you better sow tonight. I feel God. There's a wind of shifting that's getting ready to hit your life. There's a wind of shifting that's getting ready to change your entire existence. This one, this one, this is gonna be more than a Facebook post. Yes, God. This, this is getting ready to be a billboard post. Yes, God. Because you're getting ready to be uh uh you're getting ready to be billboarded. Mm, yeah, that's why you got to be careful of what you advertise in this season. Don't advertise what you can't produce. Oh, because God says, watch this. He says, that's why when when I when I when I'm between blessings, uh, Shakira, and I just heard Pastor Shakira when I'm oh. between <laughs> blessings, I go to I go window shopping, and what face in the window makes me come in the store to shop. The reason why the kingdom ain't being populated, we got the wrong people in the window. Uh, 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 uh. We got the wrong people advertising for the kingdom. He says, stop advertising what you can't produce. Uh, he says, but I'm God. switching the display because this next shift is going to put you on display. Uh, but he okay. says, Matt, tonight, can I trust you yes. with the shifting? I decree and declare the blessings of the Lord upon everybody's life tonight. I decree and declare those that return back to Christ. The mm. Bible says heaven is rejoicing. I decree and declare somebody's getting ready to walk into a billboard season. Somebody hey. name. So, so I hear God. I gotta go. I hear God say your name is getting ready to enter into places that your feet ain't even set. Your feet haven't even entered in. Ooh, and they go, they watch this. They getting ready to wonder. I'm telling you, getting ready for Q and A. They getting ready to wonder how you Ooh. did it. 
Wow. And your only response is going to be nobody but God. That's it. I ain't, been, I ain't been perfect, but I've been faithful. Yes, God. Who? And so guess what? Because Ooh. I've been faithful, I qualify for my shifting. Mm -hmm. I decree and declare, I thank you. And let me tell you something. I, I got to be, I got to share this evangelist because mm -hmm. the enemy a couple of years ago tried to disconnect us. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. When you are, when you are real in your heart. Yes, ma'am. And you love God for real. Yes, ma'am. And you grow for real. And you mature in Christ. Yes. The enemy can't stop what God has not at all into our day not at all so i i appreciate and i'm i'm honored for this moment i'm grateful for the opportunity yes. and i speak multiplied momentum blessings yes. upon your ministry everything that you touch every place that the sole of your feet would tread that god would give you get ready because he's raising you up to pastor he's raising you up to pastor and guess what and guess what i don't even see a building i see our online church Mm. I, I, I see an online church. God mm. is getting ready to raise you up because guess what? It's people need to know that God can still use people like you and me from mm. the streets. Mm. I decree and declare that the blessings of the Lord will make you rich and add no sorrow. Thank you. Yes. And I'm grateful you, for this you, moment. I, I just need you to I need you to take a few seconds, tell them how to follow you um on facebook um if you have any books if there's any items you have for purchase if you could just give that information listen you can go um to my page janithia tc man um i'm getting ready um the same week that i gave birth um i'm getting ready to do my women's conference um and if you're not busy i would love for you to come share your testimony yes. um it's entitled from stars to stars sisters mm. that are real survivors amen mm. and i got prophetess danielle williams from porn to the pulpit and mm -hmm. dr valerie moore uh, um that is, that is under juanita biden will be um those speakers amen and so i would love every woman if you're in the port lauderdale hollywood Wood area july the 22nd through the 24th amen um registration is only 55 dollars amen uh registration is only 55 dollars you can get that information on my page i would love amen for those of you i'm looking for people that got that are have survived some things and know what yeah. it is he said i'll take you from your stars that you won't even be identified by your stars he says but mm. i'll make you a star sisters yeah. that are real survivors Amen. So you can follow me um, via, she has my name tag. You can yes, go just follow me. The post. Uh, follow me. And listen, I would love for all of you all to be a part of this special moment. Amen. Because I told God, the enemy, uh, I, my baby didn't live, but my ministry will. Amen. I know that's so right. I'm birthing this women's conference in the same week that I gave birth to my daughter. Amen. On July the 25th. Amen. Okay. So I encourage you. Amen. If you want to, you can be a part. You can follow me and again i thank you for this opportunity and um if you can do me a favor and you can put the um um if you can do me a favor and put all the information so i can get with, yes, with my calendar day and yes, everything like that yes, and then i'm going to message you as soon as i get out for here yes ma'am yes, thank you prophet bless you listen people of god that was powerful that was that is listen Y'all see, it's some, it's some other real people out here like me. Y'all see her just get on there and say, she was preaching and fornicating. She had a whole baby and the baby came out dead. Um, you you got to say she used crack. Um, uh, I'm sorry, cocaine from behind the pulpit. Just because y'all see people up there preaching, y'all see, see these big old titles, apostles and pastors and bishops and prophets and prophetess and events. That don't mean nothing, man. That don't mean nothing. They're just not as transparent as me and her. But they battle things too. Don't let nobody belittle you in this season because they got a title. Don't let nobody belittle you in this season because they got a title. This wraps up night 22 of The Shift Is Now. That was with Prophetess T.C. Mack. Um, the scene she charged tonight was $22 or $222. The information is to the bottom. I'm about to get off live because I'm going to put that $222 seed in the ground too i love you guys god bless you now um guys the shift is now i will tune in tomorrow night 10 p.m eastern time god is up to something and you're a part of it take care